Hey there, today let's have a look at the graphical user interface of Cases. To zoom in and out, use the mouse wheel. Up zooms out and down zooms in. Holding the middle mouse button lets you move your screen and you can rotate by pressing the right mouse button. To select an object, press the left mouse button. You can also hold and move the left mouse button to select multiple objects. Let's have a look at the bar on the bottom now. The first two buttons let you center your object. So when I'm lost in 3D space like right now, I can simply click here. The second one will let me center a selected object instead of the whole project. The next symbols in line are filters. And as you can see, use the same symbols as the left sidebar that lets you create objects. So what it does is, if I select for example the point button, it will filter all point objects. Of course, the same goes for the other objects. These buttons are addressing sections. As you can see, one is selected already and it has filtered the sections that you can see now. The other one filters everything but sections. So it enables you to get a better idea of the shape of your object or it lets you compare two surfaces with another. The next button lets you see the mesh of a surface. The next button is the mirroring button. It will let you mirror your project along the z-axis. This one sets the visibility of the coordinate system and after that there's the warnings filter, which in this case doesn't make any difference as there are no warnings. The little lock lets you lock your results and compare them if you have multiple variations and results. Next in line are the view options. Click the little block to get isometric views or click it again to get the plane views. There are x, y, z and minus x, minus y, minus z. Also there is an option that gives you a view mainly used in blight design. It gives you a y view that has a switched x and z direction. The camera lets you take a screenshot of your 3D view and the button next to it is the clipping button. You can enable the reference plane that's shown, enable and disable the clipping itself, switch the clipping directions, drag the plane and disable the reference plane again. The last button is the name filter. Just type something and only objects with the same string and name will be shown. If I write P, it will only show my points as they are named P1, 2 and 3. Or if I write nozzle, it will only show my surface. I can also put an exclamation mark in front of the text and it will work as a knot. In this case, it will show everything but the nozzle. Next, let's look at the object tree. Right now, it shows all of my objects, but as you can see, there are two more tabs. The second one is called the Connections tab and lets you couple your software with cases. And the third one, Optimization, lets you automatically create variants of your object and optimize it. Here I already ran a Sobo. Now the same three tabs can be found above the 3D window. The Connections tab leads you to a window that lets you set up the data transfer between cases and your external software. 
The Optimization tab lets you look at the results of your optimization in values, graphs and screenshots. Here you can see the pictures taken when I ran the Zobo. At the end of the video I want to show you workspaces and cases. So first, what can I do when I press this and that and all of a sudden everything is a mess? You can select one of the predefined workspaces, in this case default, to get back to the normal view. There are also other workspaces, like the dark layout or the blade design layout. So I hope you liked this video and thank you for watching. See you!